Quiet Chef Joe, I'm George behind the camera, and we're doing something real good today. What we got over here, George? Spaghetti. <laughs> we're doing pasta carbonara today. So obviously, you need some spaghetti. We have half a, half, a <laughs> half a cup of Parmesan. Bacon, the bacon is cooked. No, it's not pancetta. I wanted pancetta, <laughs> but I didn't have a chance to get it. So pancetta. we're going with bacon, which I cut in lardons. We have two tables, two teaspoons of chopped garlic, six egg yolks, Wibbles. and one egg, one whole egg. Again, six egg yolks, one whole egg. And obviously, you know, for garnish, we're gonna use some some parsley, and we are using some Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano -Reggiano. I'm gonna start with the eggs, okay? Webbles. No webbles are yeah, going I don't know in. Yeah, they called in Italian, so we're gonna stick the webbles. And you are putting the Parmesan. You notice I didn't whisk it right away. Cause obviously you can do this right away. So, whisk it, okay? You can add pecorino cheese if you want, up to you. So just make sure you whisk it good. Again, there's Parmesan. Make sure you whisk it. And you will let it sit for a bit while you're cooking your bacon, okay? So I'm gonna let that sit right now. And what I'm going to do on the bacon, what you wanna do with the bacon, you want to render the fat out of the bacon. The recipe calls for two to three ounces of bacon. I went with five ounces, so I'm, I'm, I like bacon. I haven't eaten bacon in a long time now, so I don't know if I should cheat tonight or not. I don't know if I should go there, but you know, it is what it is. Add some olive oil. About two tablespoons of olive oil. You want to render the fat of the bacon, so you need fat to render fat. So add your bacon there. <clears throat> You're gonna start off um, slow, then work your way up on the heat. You don't want to um, have chicharron. That's why you're that you're not looking for chicharron, okay? Chicharron? Not yet. You don't. Slowly, you're going yeah. to render the fat out of the bacon. Was it chicharron con bacon? What was that? Chicharron con bacon. Chicharron is bacon. So, render that fat. So as you see. I said start off slow and then you can go ahead and work your heat on the bacon. You just want to render that fat. Okay, that's what you're trying to do right now. That's what you're doing. And just the smell of, of bacon is, is good. Again, um, I haven't eaten meat for a while, but like just working with these ingredients is like make you think twice about it. For this recipe, you can use pancetta. If you want, I went with bacon, you know, in this case in particular, so. Pancetta is uh, the traditional. Yeah, pan you, pancetta is the traditional way of doing it. One thing with pancetta is that you have to be careful when you're using pancetta, just for the fact that pancetta is really salty. So you have to control, you know, how much pancetta you're putting in there. Okay, now while that's working, what I'm going to do now is on the eggs, I'm going with Albert Marie. I'm going to place it over water. <coughs> I'm going to place it over hot water. It's like if you're making a hollandaise sauce, kind of. Yeah. Now, normally carbonara is after they cook the pasta, they basically just crack the egg right on top, right, and mix it. But yeah, we don't, we there's don't different like, ways. Believe yeah, it or not, there's different ways. We just don't like raw eggs in our food. We don't like... Uh, with a poultry sushi. <laughs> so I'm placing the eggs, like I said, on the bain on the bain marie, and you have to be really careful when you're doing this. Okay? It'll be real quick. It oh. might look like it's scrambled eggs right now, but it's not. Remember, it has the parmesan cheese inside. So you just want to heat it up a little bit. <clears throat> Again, it has the Parmesan cheese inside. So you just 
Again, it's like if you're making hollandaise sauce. Basically, this close to it. The, the only thing is that you're not adding, you're not adding the butter. Okay, so I'm gonna remove it now for a little bit. I'm gonna keep whisking it. And as you see, the bacon is getting to the point that I want. Okay? Look at that. I'm going back with the eggs. Man, and it smells good in here. Okay, so the bacon is almost there. It's, the bacon is almost there, so at this point, what I'm going to do, let me remove the X. I'm gonna add the garlic. And finish cooking the bacon with the garlic. You don't add the garlic at the beginning because the garlic is going to burn up easy. burn out real easy the the garlic is not like the bacon uh, bacon takes time to cook garlic cooks 30 seconds 45 seconds in the heat that I'm cooking the bacon okay <clears throat> again this is a quick recipe and one more time I'm going with the eggs to the I'm doing my memory and again I'm whisking the eggs. So on a bemari, you don't have direct direct heat cooking the eggs, which helps you out. If you put it on the stove, you can do it, but you have to be like a professional doing that. You can put it on the very, stove on direct heat, heat, but you have to control it. Not everybody knows how to do that. So when you do it on the bain marie, the steam from the water is what's cooking the eggs and that's what's, you know, going to help you out not to mess up the whole thing. Basically, you're not going to make scrambled eggs because it's not exact, the right fire. You're not going to have scrambled eggs for breakfast. Now, how do you know when it's cooked? For the amount of eggs that I added over here, six eggs, one, excuse me, six egg yolks, one egg. For that amount, it'll take about three minutes the most and basically when when it starts to thicken up when it starts to thicken up that's the sign that you guys are looking for okay so you can see now when 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 I move the whisk it's leaving a streak so that, that's already telling me that it's done that egg it might not seem cooked but it's cooked you can see it's smoking so just keep whisking it and leave it there. Now let's go back to the bacon. On the bacon, <coughs> I'm going to add the pasta. You can add as the whole pack of pasta if you want. I'm gonna go with about three-fourths of the whole container. <laughs> and what you do, mix it up with the garlic and the bacon so from the, the bacon passes, and the garlic pasta is like absorbing all the fat and all the oils on the bottom so I know at this point this is good the eggs are good what I'm going to do right now is crack some pepper on the pasta before I go before I go on the eggs now you can go with a lot of pepper on this Okay, you can go a little bit crazy with it. Yeah, it's one of the only times where I actually like a lot of cracked pepper. And that should be good. <clears throat> let me mix that up. Before I mix it up, let me add a little bit of salt. One of those big pinches of salt that George likes. It's a lot of pasta, so you have to make sure that yeah. you season that real good. Okay, so I know that this is done. And I'm going on to the dump eggs. Dump. I'm gonna drop the pasta. Right inside it? Right inside there. And while you're dropping it, don't drop it all at once. Little by little. So it's not enough heat to scramble. Yeah, that way you know you're not doing scramble eggs. And look at that, that looks 
that looks good. And one more time, if, it, if it's too runny, if the sauce is too runny for you, what you can do is obviously go back to the bain-marie and you can finish cooking it there, but my sauce is the way I want it. <coughs> my sauce is the way I want it, so you can take a look, just look at that. It's creamy and it smells good. That bacon. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of parsley. You're going to add more when you finish, when you're plating. Mix it up. And this is those type of dishes that, you know, with a nice glass of white wine. White? Yes. Really? Yes. Hmm. Nice glass of white wine. And trust me. I don't know. I'll call it a night. I'm really feeling like some Malbec right now. Or a nice Bordeaux. I don't know shit about wine. I'm just joking here. <laughs> it's okay, George. And you get that. that. You get the picture bowl, and I get the metal bowl, right? Who's get, who gets the picture bowl? You get the picture bowl, I get the metal bowl. Yeah. Again, this is a quick recipe, but it's a, one of those recipes that you have it's to pay attention to. It's a classic recipe. You have to pay attention to. Okay? Look at that pasta. Looks good. Add a little bit of parsley. You know, to give it that contrast. And we're almost done. Some cheese on top. And you are done. Like I said, it's a quick recipe that you have to pay attention. And it's delicious. Trust me, you put this on your table, your family is going to love it. Especially the kids. <laughs> if you guys see over here, it's, it's a little bit thick. You can see that. What wow. you do is this. There, there goes the word we have to <laughs> What you do is this. Grab a little bit. You're going to grab a little bit of that um, the pasta water. Pasta water. Just a bit. Nothing crazy. Now, everybody should keep in mind that pasta water is golden. So you do not dump it. And again, you just mix it. And if it gets too loose, one more time, you can go to the over boiler and you cook it that's what you have to do so again if you pay attention to what you're doing you're not gonna mess this up okay trust me so now I know that the pasta is getting back to that stage where it's heavy it's thick I can come back over here and plate it again If you want it saucy, again, just add a little bit of the pasta water and you should be fine. No problem whatsoever. You see like a little structure too. And a little bit of parsley. Again, you want to get some contrast in there, some nice colors. Okay, and trust me, it's f that pasta is packed with flavors, and that's your pasta carbonara. Make sure that you pay attention to the pasta. Again, you have to pay attention when you're doing the eggs, just for the fact that you don't want breakfast, you don't want scrambled eggs. Okay, and remember. If you guys want to share your recipes with us, you guys are welcome to do that. Send us an email, send us a message, Facebook, Instagram. And the person that we choose will receive a survival crate from Flavor Square. Okay? So that's basically it. Again, check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, 
we're all over the place. Hello. And uh, make sure you guys leave your comments, okay? Like the video, share the video. All right? Take care. Thank you, guys.